registerednursrn.com and in this video we're going to go over the skill of how to place electrodes for a 12 lead EKG. Now before you get started you need to get your supplies and what you need for supplies is some electrodes you will need 10 of them and electrodes look like this and they have a backing on the back. You will need some alcohol prep to clean the skin and remove oils. You will also need some exfoliation paper. I call it sandpaper on that looks like tape because you're going to rough the top layer of the skin up. So what you do is you clean your landmark areas and then with alcohol prep and then you take exfoliation paper and you lightly go back and forth just to rough up that top layer of skin and then you place the electrode in the place where it needs to go. Now, if you have a patient who has a lot of hair on their chest, on the landmarks of where your EKG stickers need to go, you need to trim those hairs because it'll cause artifact. And also, be sure to watch out for any pacemakers, sub-Q ports, anything like that because you'll want to remove the, uh, you'll not want to put a sticker over those places. Now, some key things to remember about your electrodes. Make sure that they are not expired because if they are expired, um, you will get a bad connection. And also, a lot of times I've had whenever I've removed the backing of the electrode off, the gel that's on the electrode was really dry and that caused artifact and I didn't get a good connection. So make sure that they're stored properly and that they're not expired. So let me demonstrate for you on our mannequin how to place these 12 lead EKGs and what landmarks you use. Okay, we have our mannequin and what we're gonna do is you need to prep the chest first. So what you're gonna do is take your alcohol prep and clean your landmarked areas and then you'll take your exfoliation paper and just barely scrape the skin on your landmarked areas, which we'll go over in here in a second. And remember, if this patient had a hairy chest, you would want to trim the hair on the chest. You want to avoid going over any implanted devices like sub-Q ports, pacemakers, ICDs, anything like that. And if they have a medication patch, you don't want to go over the medication patch. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to place our arm leads. Now, you can use your left, right arms, and lower legs, but you can also use the chest. And since this dummy doesn't have any arms or legs, we're gonna use the chest. So first, what we're gonna place, we're gonna place our right arm lead, and you're gonna find the clavicle, and you're just gonna go right below the clavicle. So we've prepped and everything, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the backing off of the electrode. Make sure these are not dry, make sure they're nice and um, lubricated, because if they're dry, you'll get artifact and you're just going to put it on the skin and make sure it's nice and flesh on it. Then we're gonna to go to the left arm lead and we're going to find our clavicle and we're just gonna go right below it. Make sure you're not going over any implanted devices because that's really where they like to be. We're gonna, we've already prepped, so we're just gonna place that over there. Now let's go to our lower arm leads. We're gonna to go to the right lower leg and for that, you can go in the upper right area of the quadrant. So here on this mannequin, it is right here. So we're just gonna place that there. And then we're gonna go to the left arm lead. So we're gonna go in the left upper quadrant for that area as well. Now let's do our chest leads. First, what we're gonna start with is V1. You're gonna find the sternum, which is in the middle. Then you're going to count the ribs, and we're going to go to the fourth intercostal space right of the sternum. So you're going to count as ribs, so about right here would be our fourth intercostal space, and that is going to be V1. Now, let's place V2. We're going to go left to the sternum, and we're going to go to the fourth intercostal space, and it should be right beside, over to the left of where V1 is, so V2 will be right here. And we're gonna skip V4, I mean V3, and we're gonna go to V4, because V3 will be placed in between V2 and V4. So V4 is the fifth intercostal space, mid-cavicular. So you're gonna find the clavicle, the middle of the clavicle, and you're gonna go down to the fifth intercostal space, which will be right here. And that's gonna be V4. 
And now we're ready for V3. And this is midway between V2 and V4. So V3 will be right here. And we're going to place that here. And now we're going to skip to V6. And we'll come back to V5. And V6 will be right here. And it is going to be mid-axillary. And it's going to be the same level as V4, which is right here. So you're going to find the armpit. And you're going to go in between, in the middle of where the armpit is. So about right here on the patient, lining it up with V4. So right here is where V6 would be. And now we're going to go to V5. And this is the anterior axillary line, so it's not mid-axillary line like V6, it's anterior axilla axillary line, and it's the same level as V4 and V6, so it'll go in between that. Okay, and now you are done. You have your right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, you have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. So that is how you place electrodes for a 12 lead EKG. Okay, so that is how you place 12 lead EKG electrodes on a patient. Be sure to check out my other nursing skill videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.